So a comment like this pops up from time to time, uh, and instead of going back and forth in a uh, comment section, I'll, I'll just go ahead and make a video about it real quick. Nick over on YouTube uh, commented that there are ideas about an energetic blast from the sun or a micronova uh, causing the, uh, the black matte layer, the uh, megafaunal extinctions, and the younger Dryas. Uh, and if that was the case, then looking for a crater would be futile. Now, this idea about a micronova comes from this guy right here, uh, Ben Davidson, uh, who has a YouTube channel uh, called Suspicious Observers. And I have no beef uh, with Ben. You know, if he wants to run a YouTube channel and uh, profit from that, uh, you know, more power to him. I will say, however, that he is a fast, confident talker, and uh, he uses a lot of big scientific words, but uh, there's really not a lot of scientific backing to a lot of the things that he says. Some of it's, you know, pretty decent, but, uh, you know, this, this stuff about the Younger Dryas uh, being part of a micronova uh, doesn't really, you know, have a lot of background behind it. Now, just to emphasize that uh, and to show a, a scale for reference, you know, that little tiny dot way up there, that's how big the Earth is compared to how big the Sun is. And I, I don't think a lot of people understand the size difference between our whole planet and how big the Sun really is. So if there was some form of Nova event that would send out just a blast of energy uh, in any direction from the Sun, really, uh, you know, the results would be more like this, where, you know, the, the entire half of the planet that was facing the sun would just be completely scorched to nothing. Uh, you know, complete, no water, you know, all, the, no atmosphere, the whole, the whole planet, the whole half of the planet facing the sun would just be completely obliterated. Um, and that's not what we find with the evidence from the Younger Dryas. You know, this, this is not going to pick and choose which animals go extinct. It's not going to pick and choose the percentage of burn material and things like that. And so, so again, there's just not a lot of science behind a micronova event, uh, which, by the way, um, is a real thing. Uh, right now, they are looking at white dwarf stars that periodically send out small blasts of energy. Um, but for our sun to do that, it's, it's, not, it's not backed. It's not backed by any science. Now, could the sun have been affected by the same swarm of fragmented comet uh, that caused the Younger Dryas? Absolutely. You know, if we had a, a whole bunch of, of uh, comet debris in this part of the solar system that, that affected us during that time, um, it obviously could have been captured by the sun as well. And there could have been a lot of energy being emitted sporadically. Uh, and that, you know, so there could be, uh, you know, a solar aspect to this whole thing. But, uh, but as far as the Younger Dryas impact boundary and the, and the things that we find there, you know, we're looking at the comet research.